think his gun changes appearance when he does that. Makes sense. Since it becomes a spirit gun. Yes. Alright. Oh, yeah, she needs ether points now. are going down very slowly, but they are going down. And Chaos needs to use a boost now. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm not doing damage quickly, but I am doing damage. This might bring him under 2,000. It's under 2,000! Actually, it's not. Alright, pissy boss mode must be coming soon. It says 1,000 hit points. The reason why it says that is because then you have to watch who you're using to deal damage. Um, let's see. Oh, this is not happy. Might I recommend using Xion to kill it first? Okay. Will do. Because if my hypothesis is correct, then that attack it just used will go away. Yeah, okay, yeah, that, that does make sense. Take that. Then it'll have 1500 health, and then you'll have to use Junior to kill it. So just watch out how much damage you do with it. So you don't kill it with the wrong character. Ready? Mm hmm. And I definitely should not ca kill it with chaos. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, that looked like it should damage the whole party, but I'm glad it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Oh, I am very glad I have this skill. Pika all? Yes. Boost. That sounds like it should be a skill. Chaos boost. <laughs> yes, actually. Oh man, I don't know why this makes me think of it, but in um Sands of Destruction, um with the um Like, during the latter part of the game, the main character gets an upgrade, and then so his special attack changes from I'm throwing my daggers at you, to I am blasting lasers and a sun at you. <laughs> he throws a sun at people, it is fun. <laughs> yes, I like the sun attack. Because he's just like, laser, 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 then he jumps up in the sky and summons a sun on the end of his sword, and then throws it <laughs> on the enemy. And it's just what? like, yes. What? 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 It's just like if you've ever played, um, Golden Sun, uh, Golden Sun, the second one, The Lost Age, uh, you get a weapon in it called Salt Beam. You know, oh, what beam? End, near the end of the game, and so its special ability is called MacGyver, which summons a meteor and just crushes everything. Ah, it's Sephiroth. <laughs> it's really just damage to one character, which makes me happy, which makes me very sad. Instead of killing everything, it only affects one person. 
But it's useful against bosses because it's the strongest ability in the entire game. It's stronger than most of the, the um, attack spells you can use, which is quite funny. Well, at least I'm remembering the button combination for tentacle rape. Of course you do. I mean, what else do you do in the man hole? <laughs> <laughs> this game is slowly warping my mind. Then again, so is being on the floor at CSH. Uh... Yeah, if this part is warping your mind, then yeah, later on is yeah. Oh God! What happens later? We know the game way. gets much more disturbing. <laughs> And there's a, a certain character has a, a theme that starts playing pretty often that's just, yeah, I, I, I won't say anything more. Alright, um, alright, I don't think he can get past Xion's boost, especially if I don't attack with Junior. So I'm not going to attack with Junior. Oh, and now she needs either points again. So that's what Junior will be for. <laughs> Is it white-haired man's theme? How did you know? Because I'm a I'm a smart cookie. He hasn't appeared much. He hasn't yet, but he's on the box of the second. Game. So I must assume he becomes important at some point during the first game. You could say that. Ready? I did say that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 665, I think. Oh, what... I will blast you with nondescript blue thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's because my camera doesn't like purple. It's at, it's showing up as purple to me. I stand by what I said. Wait, what exactly? I Not said I will attack you with nondescript blue thing. Because oh. that's what it looks like. Nondescript blue thing. Alright, I will not kill it with Junior, I will kill it with Xion, so that the ruined Earth thingy will stop. At least, we hope. Yes, point. I was prepared for it to do something much worse. <laughs> no, Chaos, you're the only one who can't kill it. Why is it your turn now? Defend. Good idea. Alright. Can she actually kill this thing, or does it have too many hit points? <laughs> I was thinking, can I please see how much damage that did? Yeah, I don't think this is going to kill him. She might. Ah, uh, nine hit points left. Well, that's what boosts are for. Yes. So All I right. have to kill it with Junior. Yeah. But it's annoying, I'm smashing everybody in tennis now, gone. As per my hypothesis. Yay. I am such a smart cookie. Yes, I would be going through much more pain if you were not a regular guest commentator. Um, 
That's because I'm good at JRPGs. <laughs> I'm assuming the J stands for Japan. Yes, this is a classic JRPG. Like, like, a JRPG typically has more than just EXP and gold and items as spoils for battle. So oh, like, like other types of points. Yes, yeah, so like you have you have all kinds of different ways to customize your characters via various kinds of points you get through battle. And then JRPGs also are excessively long. <laughs> they tend to have slow turn-based battle systems. Yep. I think this fits the bill all the way. Yeah. Now not all JRPGs have all of these elements, but it's just like a general guideline for making a JRPG is to have these things. Mm-hmm. So like you don't necessarily have to have all of all of them to have a JRPG, but usually that's what you find. Like, um Sands of Destruction. I don't know if you I, I wouldn't consider it a JRPG, but I mean it could be one. Wait, did that? That just killed it. I did not expect that. Sayonara, baby. Woot. You've oh. been pwned at TW. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard Civilization with lyrics yet? No, I have not. That's his latest one. I never played the original Civilization. I played Civ 2 and 3. Oh my god, in Civilization with lyrics, he doesn't swear until the very end of the song. I was surprised. And like, he doesn't say anything rude, either. Hmm. It's pretty impressive. Is she all being tentacle raped? Tentacle... Hey, tentacle mind raped. <laughs> okay. That, that is what we call mind fun. Okay, so those those swirlies, what what color do they appear to you? Purple. Okay, good. That was like literal mindfuck right there. Or maybe Dad, Majora's mask, the moon. Dog. Or maybe it was mind unfuck, considering what just happened. No. They were tentacles. <laughs> I am a firm believer. I know. <laughs> with the rest of the with the the rest of the imagery in this game, it has to be. There are two of you. Gian has a clone. The woman sitting over there isn't me. It's just an image created for the girls. An illusion. Oh, the the music, the green the sleeves. Movie. Listen. Cecily and Cat. I am using Cosmos Encephalon construction abilities to show it to all of you. They seem to be so happy. Oh, Alan! Would you say that? <laughs> I bet the little girls make you happy, Alan. Oh, I thought you were gonna say. <gasps> this is just an illusion that traps them here. A binding spell created by mankind to control the Zohar. Oh, now we're getting into the heavy stuff. But as far as they know, this world is reality. Are they going to run around that tree forever? To release my sisters. Uh, not if she has her way. For the future of the realians as well. But for now. The future of the realians. I guess. I wonder how dizzy they are. Not just. Everything in future. life is only for now. <laughs> Nephilim speak louder. Can only exist in this world of consciousness. Consciousness. Yeah, that like... is such a long word. So many as says. <laughs> Good, then get out of my face. Time travel? Oh. The future. Uh, you don't have to time travel to change the future. 
Ooh, pretty. But Nephilim saying it like that makes it sound like she's been to the future and back. Are we in space again? Yeah. You want us to restore the planet? 